What is up everybody? This is Danny Rock City. Thanks for joining me on a new video. It's been a couple weeks since I've seen you guys last. Thanks for sticking it out with me and I hope to be able to answer a few of you guys' questions. So in today's video we're gonna break down the gear that I'm running on the Princey Rack and how things are mounted. So before we hit that intro, do me a favor guys, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys on the other side. All right guys, so welcome back. Here is the Blue Yoda as of Memorial Day 2020. This is the Prince Yoda Designs modular rack system. This one is specifically designed for the fifth generation Toyota RAV4, which is the 2019s and onward. I installed this rack myself. I'll link the video right here of the install so you can get an idea of what installing the Princey rack was like. This would have to be, I believe, about the third video I have done about this Princey rack. I'll link that collection of videos right here. In this video, I wanted to specifically go over how I have the recovery boards mounted, how I have my Pelican Vault V800 hard case mounted, also how I have the Rome Adventure Company five foot awning mounted to the Princey Rack. One of the things that makes the Princey Rack so modular is the fact that you can easily mount different types of accessories to the rack itself. Almost everything I have mounted to the rack is mounted with one of these. A carriage bolt. The way Prinsu designed these bolt channels, at the end of each reel they've cut these notches here and what and this notch actually is enough clearance for a standard carriage bolt head. I'll give you guys the specs of the bolts that you need in the description below for reference. What I wanted to do for this video was actually take you guys into Home Depot and show you exactly where and which bolts to get. But if your local one looks like mine, there is a line outside of it and I will just get you guys some Amazon links. With these carriage bolts, as you can see it fits right in there and slides across in the channel. All right, let me get you guys a different angle. As you can see, moving on to the Rome awning. These are the brackets that came with the awning itself. What I did was I spray painted it black first to match the rack a little bit. And then as you can see, I ran carriage bolts through the channel. I put a washer and secured it with the nut. There's two on this end, and then there's two on the other end. The, the awning itself is not mounted to the load panels. They're actually mounted to the crossbars themselves. For the recovery boards, I used eyelet bolts, carriage bolts, and a coupler. And I also added some washers to the ends to hold the recovery boards. So for these, you twist them off. You twist to tighten. To remove them, you twist. So this holds. This setup cost maybe $15 worth of hardware at Home Depot. So I'm sure if you found it somewhere online you could probably build it for seven or eight bucks here are a couple of the things that i have mounted to the rack as i mentioned i have chase lights hooked up to this and i also have the midland ghost antenna mounted to the back corner over here finally the pelican box this is one of those additions that i've gotten the most questions on the most so let me give you a little bit of background on why i why i chose this box versus some of the others out there because i love the rome awning so much 
I originally wanted to do one of their rugged boxes, the 95 liter box. What ended up being a deal breaker for me was the height that it sits at. It was gonna sit pretty tall off of the rack. I didn't need that much space necessarily to carry the stuff that I wanted to carry. The V800 is the biggest model that they actually make in the vault series. I know some of you guys wanna see what I carry in here, so. I just did a run last week and I just threw a bunch of stuff in here, had in the car. So some of the things I have in here, moving mat, I have some tools in here, some, um, I have a, a socket set in here. And then I also have some miscellaneous tools in this bag here. Carry duct tape, work gloves. I have a battery pack in here. It's probably not the best place to keep it because of the heat. Um, I have camping lights. These plug right into my, power pack, I have an umbrella, I have my yank recovery straps. I'm going to be going on a trip this coming weekend, so I will show you guys more of a purpose-driven setup or carry list in the next video. So what I did was I drilled holes in the bottom of the Pelican itself. And so I ran the carriage bolts through. So there's a washer and a nut to secure it. And also what you can do is add some silicone to the bottom of the washer to make the box resistant to water. That is one of the downsides as well to, to the Vault series is that it is not waterproof, it is water resistant. And so I have a bolt mounted in four corners, one here, uh, on the other end of this of the the crossbar, and then I also have a set further up. And you guys saw me cutting into the bumper in the other video, so uh, drilling into this Pelican box is honestly just as nerve wracking. Uh, just gotta trust in yourself. Measure twice so that you only have to cut once. A tip when you're planning out where to drill the holes into the box, take the, a piece of cardboard, ideally the length of the box, the box that you're going to be drilling into, whether it's this Pelican box or some other type of uh, box to mount to the Prinsu, is take a piece of cardboard, mark where your holes need to be there, and that way you can mark on the box itself and get a more accurate certain measurements of where you need to to drill the holes before actually having to drill the holes. So some of the thought process about mounting the box on the left hand side is that these rifle cases have handles and also wheels. I put the wheels up front just to hide it a little. Um, they're small wheels too, so you can't really see them versus staring at them every time you walk up to the car. And the like, like this is a great way to pull yourself up. This one back here is also another great one when you're coming up the Rhino Fit ladder. And there you have it guys, how you can mount a bunch of different accessories to the Prince rack using just a simple carriage bolt and a few nuts and washers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helps you with your Prince U rack on your RAV4. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please support the channel and smash it 2020 style and give me a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next one.